Caught my wife cheating on me with her boss who happens to be a celebrity. Just like that, my whole life is gone. Her and I have been married for six years, but we've been together for 15. We only have one kid. We are a lesbian relationship, and I had no idea she was interested in guys until this occurred. I'm not sure I even know who she is anymore. She's not aware that I discovered it, and I'm still not emotionally prepared to address her right now. I haven't seen her in about four days, and she won't be returning home until Friday due to crucial business concerns, but I now know that it was also a made-up lie. She's presumably with her employer, reveling in her wealth and success. I just discovered out because all of our phone data had been synchronized when I upgraded my phone, and the texts were simply there. I can't seem to get it out of my thoughts. I never saw a reason to be skeptical of her since I trusted her so much, we'd been together since we were kids and she'd never let me down. I'm completely taken aback, and I have no one to talk to since, after all, she's still my wife, and I don't want to hear anybody speak negatively about her. I'm quite sure this is no longer going to function. She dumped me for a guy, not another woman. I recognize a good-looking guy when I see one, and he is unquestionably one of them. I can't compete with him since he's wealthier and more successful than I am. I've seen him in movies and TV programs, and I've seen him in person. I used to have a lot of respect for him. I've never felt so belittled in my life. I'm not sure where I went wrong since everything went just as intended. We promised our kid a nice family, and she sabotaged it. Right now, he's the only thing keeping me sane. I would have done something risky if it hadn't been for him. She earns more money than I do, and divorce will be quite expensive. I'm still debating if I want to do it right now. Maybe she wants one as well. I need to speak to her, but doing so makes it real, and I'm not ready to confront that yet. I'm at a loss on what to do. I'm completely lost. I'm too old to start anew, what lady would want me at my age? And even if they do, it won't be the same connection I had with her. I let myself and my kid down. He should not have to bear the repercussions of her acts and my failing, he did not choose to be born into this world. We made a decision and made a pledge, but it didn't get us anywhere. I want to seek treatment and legal counsel, but for the time being, all I actually need is a buddy. Edit, there's simply so much to do, but I'll do my best. I never anticipated things to go so wrong, but my wife will return on Friday. On the same day, I'll be meeting with a divorce lawyer. I'm hoping I can put on a brave front and pretend everything is well. I intend to conceal the fact that I am aware of her affair, this will put me one step ahead of the divorce proceedings, which will make me feel a lot better. It also allows me more time to collect proof. Please send me your best wishes. Update, my STBX is vehemently opposed to the divorce and wants us back together. She is in such a state of desperation that she has had to seek the assistance of her family. Of course, she got it. Divorce will be very difficult since she refuses to cooperate. I still have no understanding what's going on half of the time since I despise legal jargon. I eventually spoke with her affair partner last Sunday, after threatening to expose him. I'm embarrassed that I allowed myself to do it, and the language I used wasn't exactly courteous. I was seized by rage. I'm amazed we were able to get an agreement on meeting. If it hadn't been for his lovely wife, I would have slammed his head against a table as soon as I saw him that day. Lol. He apologized, and I could see he was earnest in his apology. He started telling me that he told her about his open marriage with his wife and that he never, ever suggested sleeping with her, STBX. He had that much faith in my wife. In reaction to his statement, my STBX said that our marriage was no longer as thrilling as it once was, and I reportedly stated that sleeping with other people was also okay. Their affair did not begin immediately after that, rather, it developed gradually. AP's wife claimed to have slept with my wife as well. When she inquired if I was sleeping around, my STBX answered that I didn't want it just yet, but that I was completely happy with what she was doing as long as no one talked about it until I asked. I never stated this, and I never thought our marriage was boring. Every day was magnificent with her. We do have a routine, but I like it. It made me want to do something. She lied to each and every one of us. It stings. I'm not sure I trust AP, but he has no motive to lie since he provided me documentation of her stating this. I've gone missing on my SDBX. While my kid is with her, I've been staying someplace else. She has been pestering me incessantly, seeming to care. Even if she did, the harm has already been done, and it's too late to undo it. It's excruciatingly painful, yet I'm also numb. I'm simply laughing at the scenario. She had a lot of fun with me. Even after everything, I still have a lot of feelings for her. I think about reconciliation from time to time, hoping that things will return to normal, that I'll recover from this, and that will be stronger as a result. But I know I'm worth more than this. Much, 
Much better. I'm not a perfect person, and I've done some dubious things in my life, but I know that the good in me exceeds the bad. I'm a wonderful person who does not deserve this. I tried to be a good wife to her, and I did everything by the book. Nonetheless, this did not deter her from cheating. If is, there is nothing wrong with me, it is not my fault that she is unhappy in her life. Friends and relatives from all around the globe have been sending me messages of encouragement. It caused my divorced parents to argue merely to come up with methods to cheer me up. It's adorable, in my opinion. I've been considering going to Australia, is this ever possible? Is it possible for me to bring my son? I'm thinking of bringing this up with my lawyer. I was speaking with an old acquaintance who lives nearby. And guess what? She also divorced her spouse two years ago. She has been a great source of comfort for me. Sometimes your life is polluted by negative memories, and you end up all over the place. Then all of your relatives and friends appear out of nowhere to pick up your shattered pieces. Then it doesn't seem so horrible anymore. I wish I could be there with them. I can't wait to get out of here. Story 2. My wife cheated and it's still fresh. My wife cheated on me and is still chatting to the men with whom she flirted. She said that they are now just her friends and that she does not want to be in a relationship with them or anyone else, including me. She only communicates with them over Discord and refuses to give them any of her personal information. She engages them in a phone game. She told me a little less than two weeks ago that she wants to be separated and given a break so that we may be married in name only and I don't lose her insurance. Because of college and our kid, I am forced to share a room with her. I'm trapped in an emotional rut, seeking up information from marital assistance and other sources. Some days are easier than others. I'm always going back and forth in my head between wanting to figure things out and needing to speak to someone. Some days, I simply weep my eyes out, which is unhealthy for our kid to see. The toughest days are when I don't get enough sleep, like today. Some days, I consider creating a Tinder or similar app only to mingle since I miss being in a relationship. She hadn't worked with me on our marriage in almost four months, and I can't recall the last time we were intimate, which isn't the most important thing. I miss the emotional intimacy the most. For the last eight years, I've always had someone to speak to, and now I'm completely alone. Last night, I wrote another post that goes into further depth. She says she could want to work things out in the future, but not to wait on her since she doesn't know when she'll want to work on us. But I'm not sure. Some days I'm not sure what to do or how to feel. I'm sorry if I didn't make it clear. She has previously said that the marriage is finished. We sleep in separate rooms. We don't use rings. We solely discuss the baby and what has to happen to her. She said that if it hadn't been for the fact that I needed health insurance, she would have filed for divorce to make things easy. She has been seeing a psychiatrist for a few months, and he has advised her to do what makes her happy. Apparently, what makes her happy is traveling around the globe by herself, meeting friends from all over, and knowing she has a kid who is properly cared for without the one to see her every day as I do. I just wanted to express how much I appreciate all of your advice and words of support. I'm at home alone with my kid today, taking care of her as usual, so I've been busy. But you've all given me a lot to think about. Edit, I've begun looking into free divorce consultations to understand what my alternatives are. As many of you have said, I need to make sure I have a backup plan. I must consider if making the initial step is the best option for me and my kid. Edit, I'm not sure how many of you are following my tale, but I found a lawyer. The longer I remain, the more alimony and child support I will be able to collect from her in the future. It also allows me to advance in my studies. It makes no difference who serves who papers. So the longer I can stay here, the better it will be financially for me and my kid. A few of you asked whether I was seeking for another female to chat to. I'm not prepared. I won't be fair to any lady I want to date if I can't stop thinking about these things. I've been focusing a lot on myself as a person over the last several months. For the first time in my life, I feel confident in proclaiming that I am an excellent father to my daughter. However, I am also working on myself as a person. I'd want to thank you all again for your wisdom and good thoughts. I'm not sure when I'll file for divorce, but I can't lose anything but my peace of mind if I remain for the time being.